quite a group of us working separately in Washington, mm -hmm. Oregon, British Columbia, California, uh, each in his own or her own backyard, as it were, um, putting together earthquake histories along the Cascadia coast, and all of us seeing that there was a, that, that there was repetition of great earthquakes going back thousands of years. Average repeat time, something like 500 mm -hmm. years, but a lot of variability. Well, people were asking us, uh, how big are these things? And furthermore, people weren't really comfortable if we'd stand up and say, well, some, sometime between 200 and 500 years ago, there was a great earthquake here. And they'd say, oh man, they don't know very much. You know? <laughs> so the way, we, the way we stand now by contrast, is, is that we can say to people, our most recent great earthquake occurred on the evening of the 26th of January, 1700, and that it was probably magnitude nine. Hmm. And, and when people hear that date of 26th January, 1700, and even about 9 p.m., yeah. they say, ah, this must have really happened. And so for a geologist, it's a wonderful thing. And this didn't come solely from geology. Geology laid the foundations for it. But the, there's, a, there's a book that's just out on this uh, that, that puts it in a way in the, co the front cover here, that, that over on the, on the eastern side of the Pacific, whoops, where is that? The western side of the Pacific here, yeah. we have Japan mm -hmm. in the position of a, of a re tsunami recorder yes. for us, with written records being kept uh, from a, the year 700 onward. And so here you have this, this tremendously long written history. Our written history starts in 1800. Mm -hmm. So the year 1700 is no problem, not very long ago for written history in Japan. And the Japanese have wonderful written records mm -hmm. of, a, of an orphan tsunami, a tsunami that, 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 that struck them without a seismic warning, uh, without, and it was, it was clearly not a, a storm uh, according to their records. And, and they have lots of orphan tsunamis in Japan. They come from Chile. Uh, in 1960, 138 people died in Japan from a tsunami that came from Chile. Hmm. But um, so the Japanese uh, historians were interested in these phenomena, these, these floods from the sea, not accompanied by shaking in Japan, and they cataloged them. And, and by the early 1990s, as we North Americans were working out our earthquake history here, the Japanese historians had already identified a tsunami in 1700 as their one orphan tsunami they could not find a home for. Huh. And so they were just sitting waiting for us to tell them <laughs> there was something that happened around 1700 here oh. in North America. So they, they, they took that and they said, you know, we think we've got the tsunami from your earthquake. And furthermore, we can tell you exactly when your earthquake happened and we can give you a better idea of how big it was than you had before. So those two things are very, very important for us. 